the main thing we found uh, was that uh, the heart and circulation don't just stop uh, uh, immediately. That for good proportion, 14% situations in an ICU after a planned withdrawal of life-sustaining therapy in an individual who had no hope for recovery, then about 14% of these individuals, the heart stopped and started, that circulation stopped and started. Uh, and that itself is, is important to the medical community to confirm that, that that actually happens. We suspected it. Um, and so it was really important to find that. We also found that the longest period that the heart stopped before it restarted was four minutes and 20 seconds. And that's an important number because currently for organ donation, we wait five minutes, uh, a hands-off period, so to speak, to ensure that the heart or circulation doesn't restart. The idea that we're gonna dispel some of the myths and discomfort with uh, the donation and transplant process. I think there are a lot of people in the lay public when you hear stories of people coming back to life that people need reassurance that we're following best practices. And one of those practices is something called the dead donor rule, that one can't be a donor or you can't recover organs until one is truly dead. And for us to confirm this part is really important. So that's for the medical community. For the public and transplant recipients, we hope that this information will inform policy and guidelines and have centers that weren't confident in performing organ donation and uh, that they may now feel more comfortable in moving forward with their policies and procedures and making sure that uh, you can be a donor um, confidently in every jurisdiction in Canada. And when we look at recovery of organs in that five minute time limit, why is that so important? Internationally, there are places who waited 10 minutes and longer, and some people have tried to push that time limit to two minutes. So on the lower end of the spectrum, the question arises uh, with that dead donor rule. Are we comfortable and reassured that that patient has died and uh, it has no uh, opportunity, even short, for a short period of time, to come back to life? And so I think for us to see uh, that the heart rate and heart activity and blood pressure resume within that five minute window offers some question on the two minute window. And when we look at the longer time period of 10 minutes, um, as the circulation has stopped, you can imagine that the organs themselves that we're waiting for permanence of death, those organs themselves aren't being perfused. And so to transplant an organ that hasn't had blood flow for 10 minutes and then maybe longer makes that organ likely not suitable for transplant. So finding this balance is, is very important to make sure that everyone feels comfortable be, being a donor and we can optimize that donation process and that um, as many organs as possible can be recovered from those donors so that we can make sure that the the people on the transplant list, um, you know, have access to those organs.